Hi, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Liz of Chicago Law Luxury Makeup. Today we're doing a haul video. It has been months and months since I've actually done a haul video. I've just kind of been accumulating stuff and then doing videos on those products as I have accumulated them. However, after Christmas and up until now, I have been taking advantage of the different after holiday sales buying stuff. New stuff has come out that I have purchased. I haven't had a chance to sit down and film. I haven't had a chance to even open up these boxes. So I thought we would go ahead and I would show you everything that I've purchased pretty much in the last month and show you all of the brand new makeup and beauty products that I have to show you guys and do videos on in the upcoming future. So I will be doing some videos very soon. I have so much new stuff to play with. I cannot wait. I'm really, really excited. There's a lot of new product in here. New, brand new. Um, it has just been really, really busy after the holidays. And I just, you know, I haven't, I haven't had time. Life gets in the way. So let's go ahead, start unboxing. The photo that's in the thumbnail only represents, I mean, the smallest of the fraction of the stuff that I have to go through. So I'm going to just jump in, in no particular order, and I'll try and at least talk about it, organize it by store. <laughs> um, I won't be able to organize it by category or time or anything like that, but I can hopefully say where I got it and group all that stuff together. So if you're curious to see what I have picked up in the past month, keep watching. All right, so this first box is from Charlotte Tilbury. I ordered this last year. Um, it did take a while to come. And then when it did come, I was actually on vacation. Our Christmas vacation, uh, lasted until January 7th or 8th. So I got back late and as soon as I got back, I was just thrown right into work. So here is the Charlotte Tilbury package and I did pick up two of the new highlighters. Um, I have shade Pillow Talk Glow and Champagne Glow. So I'm not gonna open those. I will open them when I do the video, which hopefully will be soon because these have been out a while and I really, I want to use them. I actually haven't even watched any videos on them, so I don't know if they're good or bad or, you know, any of the details. But I am excited to use them. And then everything else in here are some free samples. I don't know why, but there were a lot of samples when I did my order. So I got a sample of the Magic Cream, the Magic Eye Rescue Facial Oil, Magic Serum, Pillow Talk Lashes, and then these two little samples which I picked up. Again, the Magic Eye Rescue. Oh, no, the mascara fell out of there. So the mascara actually goes in here. So that's everything that I got from Charlotte Tilbury. I promise a new Charlotte Tilbury video is coming soon. I cannot wait to dig into these new products. As you can see from the box, and this is from Harrods, this just came. This just came. And I did just place this order. I have been having issues with Dior a lot of issues with Dior. I have tried to place an order from the Dior website so that I could get a new Mitza collection and I can't do it. I have created a new account in my name. I have created an account in my husband's name. Nothing, nothing works. I have used my cell phone. I have used a desktop. I can't get it to work. Can't. So I had just, I was like, I am done. No more Dior. I'm done with Dior. I, I can't. I just can't deal with it. I wasn't going to shop Dior from like Sephora or Macy's. I was just done, 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 done. But I am part of this uh, luxury beauty community and we were talking and they convinced me <laughs> that I need the new Dior uh, powder. So it was on sale at Harrods and so I picked it up. Now, I hope I love it. Or maybe I hope I don't love it because if I want it, I'm going to have to order it from Heron's. Um, but here is the packaging. Oh, it is gorgeous. It really, really is gorgeous. Wow. Okay. It's got a beautiful mirror. It does have this protective lid. Okay. I really, I really, really like the packaging. And then it does come sealed. I will definitely be using this soon, like really, really soon. I cannot wait to try this powder. Really, really excited. So I, while I was there, I did go ahead and pick up another Dior product only because um, 
I got one of these. This is the Dior Addict. And the shade that I got, it just, I didn't like it. I did not like it. So I picked up a refill so that I can swap it out. And I picked up shade 418 Beige Oblique. And actually when I went into Sephora, I do have a Sephora order. So I went into Sephora to pick up my Sephora order. And I did actually swatch this shade. So I think it'll work. There's also another shade that I think I might pick up. Um, but this looks pretty. This looks pretty. The other shade I had, like I said, just, it, it did not work for me. And I also picked up the Guerlain foundation. Now I have been wanting to try this foundation for so long. And for some reason, Selfridges won't ship it to me. But my friend Maria from Nightstar Beauty raves, raves, raves about this foundation. This is the uh, matte foundation. I got shade 2N, so you can't really see it, which means it's a perfect match for me. So I think that'll work. I'm excited to give this a try. I've actually got a couple of new foundations that I'm going to be trying for you guys. I have already filmed with one of them. I just haven't edited it or put it up yet. Um, and that is the Dior Forever Glow. So I have that one. I do have a new Lancome and I think that there's another one. So I've got some new foundations that are coming. The next thing I picked up is a Clay de Peau loose powder. I have heard rave, rave reviews about this loose powder. I couldn't find it available in the States, but they had it at Harrods. Harrods had a 10% sale. So I went ahead and then added it to the cart. I figured I just want to pay one shipping fee, right? So get everything I can now so that I only have to pay the shipping once. So I have a new loose powder from Clay de Peau that I'm really excited to try. I haven't tried any of their powders and I hear nothing but good things about it. So that was everything that I got from Harrods. And like I said, this just came in the mail today. Um, so I'm really excited. All right, so I see my Sephora order sitting here. So I'm going to open up that. I did a... Um, I bought online, but I picked up in the store because honestly, I thought I was going to be getting to all of this a lot sooner than I was. So, um, as I was saying, I have more foundations. I forgot about this one. I knew I had more. This is the Makeup by Mario foundation and I got shade 4C. I hope it works. Uh, I also haven't watched any reviews on this foundation, so I don't know if people are loving it or not loving it. I want to be able to form my own opinions. So that's what it looks like. It does actually look a little bit light. So there it is. It might be a little bit light, but it might work because my hands are a little bit darker than my face. So I got that. And then I also picked up the new NARS powder. Um, this is the Soft Matte Advanced Perfecting Powder and I have shade Sunshore. So this is a brand new product and I'm really excited to try it. I liked the claims. So that's what it looks like. Hopefully it works. It's very small, very, very thin. I picked up four of the Hourglass lipsticks. So I have shade Tide, Dahlia, Oasis, and Alpine. These are the four shades that I picked up. I will be opening these lipsticks, swatching them, trying them on, doing a whole video, uh, comparing them, talking about them later. So I'm not going to open them, but I am really excited to try this new Hourglass formula and see how I like it. So now I'm going to show you what I picked up at Ulta. I ordered this right before Christmas. Ulta gives you a 20% off coupon site-wide. So I did go ahead and take advantage of that. And I picked up an Hourglass blush, which will work out perfectly. I can use this at the same time that I use those Hourglass lipsticks. Um, I obviously didn't know that Hourglass was going to be coming out with new lipsticks, but um, that's what it looks like. It's called, the shade is Mood Exposure. I thought it looked really pretty, and I do really, really like the Hourglass blushes. I don't have any um, individual Hourglass powder products. The only ones I have are in their little palettes, so I wanted to pick up a full one. The other thing I got was a Hourglass blush stick. Now I have never tried this formula. This is shade Loyal. And here is the packaging and then there's the shade. So I think that those two will work really well together. So I am really excited to try this formula. 
I have been almost every day wearing a cream blush and a powder blush. I don't know why. I just really, really like the combination of the two. So I am happy to expand my cream blush collection and see if I like this formula. The last thing I picked up is a NARS lipstick satin. And that's what that looks like. So another nude. Kind of like a pink nude. Those are the three things I picked up at Ulta. And then Cospar. Cospar had their after Christmas sale. It was amazing. I shopped fast. As soon as I saw that the sale was live, I shopped because I know from experience this sale sells out. So if you see an item and you like it, you need to buy it. I picked up several things um, online and then in the store. And I don't remember what I did where, but um, all of this is from Crossbar. So I picked up a Nest candle and this is in their holiday scent. I'm going to save this for next Christmas. I absolutely love their holiday candle. That's what it looks like. And it just smells so, so good. So I'm just going to set this aside and keep this for next Christmas. So I will already have it ready to go next November. They also had another candle on sale and this is the Blue Cypress and Snow. I will probably burn this one before next Christmas. So here is the outer packaging. I think it's really pretty. It's got like this beautiful silver and white. And then that's the inside. It smells really good. Very wintry. And since it is still winter here in Chicago, I think this will be the next candle that we burn. All right. So then I picked up these little slip hair scrunchies. So I did pick up four of these um, ornament little things. And they will go in my stepdaughter's stockings next Christmas. So I picked up one for myself and then three more for them because I do have three stepdaughters. So this is what I got and I'm, theirs are already put away in the boxes for Christmas for next year. So I don't, <laughs> I don't want to forget. Um, but I just love these hair ties and these are normally $25 and I think that they were like 50% off. So they were a really, really good deal great time to stock up on these scrunchies especially when they're on sale and then the last two items i got are from la mer i picked up the rejuvenating hand serum which i've never ever tried i'm really excited to try it i'm constantly constantly putting stuff on my hands trying to combat the signs of aging and stop the aging process as much as possible. So I thought a hand serum would be really nice. So I picked that up. And then the other thing that was on sale from La Mer that I got was the body cream. I absolutely love this body cream. It's so good, but it is so, so, so expensive. Ridiculously expensive. I would never pay full price ever, ever, ever. But it was on sale. So I went ahead and put it in the cart and picked it up. And I'm so glad that I did. I absolutely love it. So that is everything that I got from Cost. I thought we were almost done. We're not. We're not. Um, I did pick up some clothing. So Spanx was having a sale and then like a percentage off of their sale. So I'm not certain. I have opened this. I've taken it out of the bag, but I don't, I haven't tried it on and I don't know that I'm going to like it, <laughs> um, but it's a final sale. I can't return it. So I'm going to at least try it on eventually and see if I can make it work. So I picked up just like a little, almost like a workout shirt. It's just a gray, just a, like a little gray shirt. I think this will be fine. I don't know if that this is what I was expecting it to be. Maybe it was, I don't remember, but I was surprised to see it. It's very, very casual. I don't think I would ever be able to wear this out of the house unless I'm going to work out. Um, but I will try it on and give it, this I think I will get use out of. The pants, however, I'm not certain. So I got these blue, just blue leggings. I thought that they were blue leggings. And I wear leggings all the time. All the time. However, these feel a lot thicker and they almost feel like an actual pant. But they kind of look like leggings but have the thickness and the texture of a pant. So I'm not sure that when I try them on I'm going to like them. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I have to try them on. Um, I can't return them. So I'm going to try them on. Hopefully I can make them work. We'll see. We'll see. But those are the items I got from Spanx. 
It came in multiple shipments. I put it all in one box and it's all from Sicily. After Christmas, they had a huge sale and Sicily was one of the brands that was included in the sale. And when Selfridges has Sicily on sale, you buy it because the prices are so ridiculously cheaper than here in the United States. I mean, it's crazy. So I went ahead and picked up a few items that I've been wanting to try. The first thing I got is this round hairbrush. I have the paddle brush, love it. Love it, love it, love it. And if I see that the paddle brush is on sale, the next time the sale happens, I will pick it up. I really, really, really like it. It's it, by far my favorite, favorite hairbrush. So I use a round brush every day to dry my hair. So I thought I would go ahead and try the Sicily one, see if it's any good. The other Sicily product I picked up is the Revitalizing Fortifying Serum. I hear wonderful things about this serum. I thought I would go ahead and pick it up. This is what it looks like and how much you get. It is very, very expensive. So you do get a little dropper applicator. Um, I'm not exactly sure how to use this yet. I am gonna watch some videos, but I hear amazing things. And I'm really, really, really trying to improve the health and the growth of my hair. So I went ahead and picked that up. I've been eyeing it for a while. And like I said, it's pricey. I picked up a backup of my Sicily Double Tinsure. Cannot be without this. Cannot. And then the last thing that I picked up is a serum. This is the Firming Concentrated Serum. I love the Sicily serums. They are so, so good. But they are so expensive. They make La Mer look cheap. They're on par price-wise as La Prairie. But um, they were like double the price of La Mer. So these are really expensive, and it, I felt like it was almost like half off at Sulfurges. So I did go ahead and pick this up, and I'm really, really excited to use it. I've used multiple, multiple samples of it. I know I love it, and I'm really excited to try it. All right, so I think that's it. That's everything that I have for right now. So on top of everything that I got in my Beautylish Lucky Bags, plus all of this new makeup, and all the other new makeup that I still have that I haven't tried, I think I should be set for a while. And I will have plenty of content to film for you guys and get some videos up. So let me know what you guys are most excited about. Did you take part in any of these sales? There were some really, really good ones after the holidays. And I could not resist. Just couldn't resist. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.